Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. This morning I want to talk to you guys about things I don't buy Christmas edition. And stay tuned for this evening because I'm going to talk about things I do buy Christmas edition. And this can change from year to year depending what's going on in our life. Number one, one thing that I don't buy Christmas edition and I was tempted to do it this year is family Christmas pajamas. I've seen so many of these and I think they're cute and the family photos in them are so adorable. But I talked to my husband and he said, honey, for the three of us it would be about $45 to $50 and who's going to see us in the pajamas? I'm like, you know what? You're right. We're not taking family photos in them. And so, and it's something that's trending right now. So we decided not to do it. Number two, gift sets. Many of them involve things that are scented, such as, you know, could be a candle. It also could be, you know, body washes, lotions, body sprays. And some people are very sensitive to certain scents and smells. They may even have an allergy to it. So I don't know who to purchase those types of things for. So I generally steer clear of those. Number three, Christmas clothing, unless I can get it on clearance. Mostly, be, not that I have anything against it, because I want to drop more weight and I'm not sure where this journey is going to take me in terms of where I may level off, but I don't want to spend too much money on any type of clothes right now, especially holiday themed clothes that may not fit me next year at this time. Number four, decorations for inside our home. Now, if I saw something that was on clearance and I really loved it, I may be open to it, but our home is small. We don't have a lot of space for things. So I basically actually got rid of some decorations this year, and I feel that our decorations in our, in, inside our home look much better because it doesn't look all cluttered. I don't know if you've ever seen things that just, you've got so much decoration, so many figurines, that it would look nicer if people had less, at least in my opinion. So I've actually gotten rid of some of those. Number five, wrapping paper and bows. A big reason is I, I just have so much of that. Number six, Christmas cookbooks. Mostly because, number one, I have enough cookbooks. I actually don't have space for any more cookbooks in the place that I keep my cookbooks. And I can always look up online and look at YouTube for recipes. Number seven, Christmas CDs and movies. Uh, no, we already have tons of that. And also any other kind of Christmas themed stuff. So these are the things that I don't at this time spend much money on Christmas edition. I would love to know from you, if you celebrate Christmas with any family members, what are some things that at this time you are not purchasing? This is Money Mom signing off and as always, I love you. Bye-bye.